Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here. I'm here with Yoshi Story, so for the next five days you're gonna get nothing but Yoshi Story because I'm in work hell. Of course, if there's any gotcha news that's important, uh, such as me summoning or a banner to summon on, I will have to record that. But otherwise, I'm too busy to kind of record the gotchas I'm currently playing. So I'm going to do batch recording of this. So for five days, Yoshi story. I had to do this last week with um, Kakarot, and now I'm doing it with Yoshi's um, story mode. Let's do it. This is one of the greatest N64 games. By the way, if you end up liking this, it will help a whole lot if you leave a like. <laughs> But I also understand that maybe this isn't for everyone, which is why I'm saying, hey, if anything important happens in the gotchas, make sure I will, I will be there. So what is this game? Uh, one of the greatest N64 games. Uh, this is a very strange Yoshi game if you've never played it. So basically we have to... Actually, I should... Are they not going to tell the story? You have to enjoy the story. I'm going to have to restart it so you can enjoy the story for what it is. Because how are you going to enjoy the game if you don't see the story? So yeah, Yoshi's Story is an N64 game. It's technically a sequel to Yoshi's Island, I guess. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. Um, let's get into it. Oh, man. This is bringing back a lot of nostalgia. Out of the blue, the island fell, darkened by an evil spell. The blink of an eye was all it took, and the island became a storybook. The super happy tree vanished too, and once happy Yoshis began to stew. Only Baby Bowser could be so mean to ruin the happy Yoshis dream. The island had paid an awful cost, for the super happy tree was lost. Elsewhere on the pop-up island, some Yoshi eggs survived the trial. The spotted eggs in the Yoshi's nest would soon face Baby Bowser's test. One by one, they began to hatch six little Yoshis, a perfect batch. Aw, look at them babies. They scratched their heads and looked around. Some even tried to pound the ground. Sadness darkened every Yoshi's face. It should have been a super happy place. They quickly saw the problem at hand required a cutting Yoshi plan. If we grow super happy, the Yoshis thought, we'll spoil baby Bowser's evil plot. I guess Bowser's evil plot. I, I added the baby. Their mission then was crystal clear. They had to go and spread the cheer. So it was, they all agreed to rescue the super happy tree. They set out to follow and trail fruit to find where the tree had taken root. One Yoshi wondered as he bounced if Baby Bowser could be trounced. That was a real forced rhyme. We'll stay together, the others cried, and stomp this Baby Bowser's hide. By eating fruit and having fun, the deed should surely soon be done. And so the Yoshi's quest began to find the tree and save the land. Just turn the page and you will see how happiness grows in a tree. Alright, let's do it. So yeah, this is Yoshi's story. Story mode. Um, you don't have traditional lives, you have Yoshi's. So now I think I'm going to start with level one. And it's really weird because it's, you'll see what I say. So the fruit here will give bonuses, grapes. 
So then we can pick our Yoshi. I think there's certain um, characteristics to each, which uh, fruit they prepare. Um, we'll just go with basic ass Yoshi, green Yoshi. What do you see there? We can eat Shy Guys. And then if I remember right, no, I think it might be this. Here's something completely different to the Yoshi Island experience. Yoshi Star lets you aim the eggs. Oh. I forgot how to- there we go. I have to remember how to stop them. So yeah, and then this game is weird because it's not like you don't have baby um, Mario, so it's not really about that. It's really more about collecting fruit. You're just kind of... Yeah, enjoying your day. So yeah. Fun facts, if you eat a today's lucky fruit, you'll earn a whopping eight hearts. One more thing, do a ground pound near a shy guy while you're super happy. I think touching these dudes gives me some hints. Press start. Lucky and favorite fruits are shown along with each special heart that you found. Okay, so my lucky fruit is that. My favorite fruit is melon. My mood is pretty good. I'm not 100% sure what the mood affects, to be honest. I've played hours of this game. Actual, like, years. And I've never fully understood all the mechanics in it. I just know how to beat it. Nap time. There are four of the Miss Warps. Find each, jump on their head, and warp. When a Yoshi is lost, you'll start from the highest numbered warp you have reached. So this guy's easy to beat, you just ground down. I remember how to do that. These you just go up here. Um, thank you. So yeah, there's like multiple routes that you can take, different paths and such. Um down here. I think this replay yeah, that just gives my health up. Hit the and carry across the line, begin to race. The faster you go, the more melons you'll win at the end of the goal line. Oh yeah, so this one I just go. And book it. I'll come back for these fruit after the race is done, and I think we'll finish the level. Ooh, seven melon. Yoshi. Eat that melon, boy. Now, if I remember right, this makes me super powered. Unfortunately, there's like no dude to really <laughs> make that a benefit of anything. Right, I'm gonna go back. So yeah, I can choose to just ignore that fruit and continue exploring the level. Oops. Let me just quickly ground pound this man. Get five more fruit, and I'll be good. So yeah, the level ends when you eat that many fruit. Okay, I ran out of fruit, but it's okay, because I'm pretty sure if you... I remember you being able to bounce it enough to destroy it. I guess. There we go. Yeah, let's move on to the next stage. I only got two fruit left. So this is pretty easy to beat. Yeah. 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 Just one more fruit and I'm done. I'm gonna run it, you go like this. Bring him. Mm. 
Oh yeah, the reason you probably wouldn't want to finish the level is you want to get more hearts. I gotta be careful with what I eat here. I'm all the way at the end of the level, I may as well look for the hearts. Hey dog. Right here. Oh god. I gotta be careful. Okay. Go dog, go. Come on, dog. I'm right, there is a way to sniff. No. I'm pretty sure that just takes me back to the start of the level. Eh, it's fine. This level. Yoshi. I think your mood is related to the points at the end, now that I think about it. Not that I think. I guess they give you a full on rating at the end of the game. God, I love this game. This game's so loving. And so the adventure began. The Yoshi set out to find the super happy tree. Poochie the dog helped out. Not even the elephants could stop the other Yoshis. But what did Poochie do? So far so good. If they could stay happy, the tree would be saved. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Page turn. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. And I'll see you there.